Hi, John. Hi, Chris. Hi. How are you? Good seeing you. Ah, look who I've brought wow. with me. It's him. Wow. Himself. It's the C64. Yeah, take him. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Brings back memories. Really? Yes. What memories? Tell me. Oh, mainly bad ones. Bad ones? <laughs> no, good ones, good ones. But <laughs> developing for it was uh, was always a slog. But, oh man, it's good. It's good. And the little one characters as well. I like it. Oh, that brings back memories. And playing night, night overnight. Yeah, yeah, working, slaving over it, night overnight, mainly. Um, Only working memories, or? Uh, no, yeah, the early days, yeah, the early days was, yeah. was all games. It was obviously, you know, when, when we first got one, it was just playing games, uh -huh. but very soon it was, right, what can you do with it? You know, obviously you've got, you've got a keyboard and you can do stuff with it. It's not just like a console, yes. you know? So, I mean, this is, the kids these days, they'll play a game and, and they'll, they'll play another game, mm -hmm. but they, they haven't got this, they haven't got this, you know? And so very soon we, we, we fell into just, can you do with it? The sound too, it's, it's very yeah. special. Huh? It's got, it, I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel too worn either. It actually feels, feels good. It's we paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> we can put it right here. You can Man, watch it. it. Does, oh. We picked up one of these and um, it's stuck playing games, but then we just started, we were at school and we started you know, writing demos and stuff, all in basic to start with. And uh, our friends had um, Spectrums, it was, the, it was the war, it was the Commodore 64 ZX Spectrum. Uh -huh. And so at school yeah, you had these, these two groups and we had like, competitions who can write the best demo, who can, you know, who can get a game. And, and, and in those days it was obviously all very basic, very rubbish, but uh, that's how it started. It Yeah, yeah, they thought we were crazy. Totally tired. Yeah, they thought we were crazy. Yeah. Absolutely, they, they, they couldn't understand the, the the dedication we had. We we fell in love with it straight away, you know. Um, and we I saw that before. Oh, it was, yeah, because yes. oh, it, well, it, 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 it's such a, it was uh, that I mean compared to the Spectrum, which was it, it was its arch enemy. It, it, it was it was such a powerful machine. And you you move in sprites around in basic, and they're they're chugging along the screen like this. And then we're like, well, this is no good. We can't write a whole game like this. And it was like, okay, we'll learn machine code and assembly language, which is what we did. And the first thing we ever wrote. We, it was just a sprite was it across the screen and it was just this glitch just just like then we're like oh what have we done wrong and we realized it was moving so fast that the raster scan on the tv couldn't keep up and we were just like oh the power you know <laughs> the things you, you used to do up until the point when we got this we just dropped everything else and we just started coding and coding and coding and it was just it was a passion it really was I just fell in love with it straight away I've been in games since, uh, as a player since the 1960s. Uh, I started a company called Games Workshop in 1975 with a school friend of mine called Steve Jackson. It was very exciting times because of, of clearly it was the birth of computer and video games. You know, the kids of today who never had the opportunity to play these games, they can suddenly enjoy the things that we used to enjoy all those years ago. 